Today I'm bringing you another impromptu recipe. And what I mean by impromptu is that it wasn't really planned. I did this few weeks ago when I was recording my apple pie recipe, I recorded my spaghetti and meatballs recipe because I was already making it for dinner. The camera was all set up, everything was ready. So I was like, why not? That's why today I'm going to show you how to make my fall harvest salad. For now, you're only gonna need one sweet potato. Um, you can do one sweet potato, you can do two sweet potatoes, whatever it is. This is just gonna be my dinner for tonight. Very easy, um, very delicious. I love this salad. I'm gonna remove this ends because I don't like it. So I'm gonna cut it in half lengthwise. And now I'm going to slice it. You want to do thin slices, thick slices, whatever type of slices you like. I'm just doing pretty thin ones, you could say. So now what you want to start doing is preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit because we are going to be roasting our sweet potato. Let me do this like this. It's just easier to do one at a time. I don't know what I was thinking. So my sweetie, sweetie, sweet potatoes are done. I'm gonna drizzle them with a little extra virgin olive oil. Just a small amount. Obviously I'm going to leave everything in the description box because you are going to need the recipe for the dressing. I'm making a balsamic vinaigrette dressing. This to die for, so yummy. So, a little bit of oil. Gonna do some salt. Mix that in. You wanna spread them apart pretty well because you do want, or see, everything to roast accordingly. Add a little pepper to them. My oven's already preheated, so I'm gonna pop this in for about 20, 25 minutes. You just want them to be tender. Sweet potatoes are in the oven. Now we're going to make our balsamic dressing that I'm telling you is the best thing on the planet. I usually make a huge thing of it, keep it in the fridge. That way I have it like all week long. I realized that I've never really measured the amount of stuff that goes into it. I just kinda like eyeball it. So I'm kinda taking, um, kind of like a mental note of everything that I put in it. Some Dijon mustard. We're going to do salt. Black pepper. I'm doing this by hand, but if you have like a blender, do it in there and it's gonna come out really creamy, but I'm just gonna do it by hand today. So honey, this is some great local honey. I think that's about have a tablespoon of it. Now goes in our balsamic vinegar and make sure it's not the glaze, it's the actual like vinegar consistency. Let's give this quick mix. As I'm whisking, I'm going to add in our oil. Okay. Just a quick little mix until everything is incorporated. I'm gonna test it for seasoning. It's good, but it does need a tiny bit more of honey for my taste. So, tiny bit more honey. Okay, let's see. Okay, now that's perfect. I'm telling you, this is so good. You can like drink it with a straw. So, so yummy. So our dressing is done and you can set that aside until you're ready to use. Because I am a crazy person, after I said to put it aside and just forget about it, I decided I really wanted it creamier. So I have my immersion blender here. I'm just going to blend this up. As you can see, it gets a lot lighter in color and it just, it gets a little creamy. And this is how I like to do it, but the other way is perfectly fine. Sweet potatoes are out of the oven. They are crispy and perfectly cooked. 
So that's the, here I have the rest of the ingredients that you're going to be using. So I have some um, spring mix, you can use kale, you can use pretty much any salad mix you like. I have a few Brussels sprouts just because I had it on hand. And Brussels sprouts are in season, so they're really inexpensive right now. And I really like shaved or Brussels sprouts. I have some dried cranberries, some walnuts, a little bit pepitas or um, pumpkin seeds, one apple piece of lemon because I'm gonna um, squeeze that over the apple so it doesn't start to turn brown or anything like that. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the bottom part of Brussels sprouts and just I'm going to peel off these outer layers because they're usually um, full of dirt and whatnot. I did rinse these. I do want to give it a rinse though. I cut it in half and I just kind of slice it or shave it. So I'm just going to do the same to the rest of them pretzel sprouts and then I'll show you the final results. Okay, so my pretzel sprouts are done. I'm just gonna break it apart with my hand. I'm gonna add it into to my bowl here. Okay. Now to the greens itself, I'm going to add some of this beautiful, beautiful dressing. You can add a little as much as you like. Here, I'm just gonna mix this whole thing together. I'm going to plate this up. I'm going to uh, slice my apple. Should it better if you put it kind of like on the side, you can remove the core. You want to slice it and you can, you know, plate it really pretty. So you can cut it many different ways. It looks really pretty if you cut it like this, like lengthwise, because when you put it, let me show you. When you put it on the plate, you can kind of fan out the apples a little bit and you can just like kind of like nestle them in. And it looks, you can see the difference. It looks a little pretty, but this is, listen, this is just things you can do. I like to do a drizzle of lemon juice over my apples. I like to do a little bit of some potatoes on one side, then some pecans and pepitas on the other side. This is what my salad looks like, full of fall goodies. You got your sweet potatoes, you got apples, you got cranberries, you got some nuts, a little bit of seeds. You got everything, everything you need. So I'm gonna dig right in. A little bit of sweet potato here, piece of apple. This is such a beautiful salad. That balsamic vinaigrette, it's absolutely delicious. This is my very delicious. I'm proud to recipe for you guys. If you enjoyed, I absolutely love this salad. Like I love a good salad and this is delicious. Go on my website for the ready recipe if you want the, the recipe for the dressing because I'm telling you it's amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.